Thank you. I will bring you away from Sweden to the post-war Bosnia with my presentation. Since I'm an architect and I've been working there for more than eight years with um, re uh, reconstructions or conservation of war damaged monuments. And I will start with a short background um, about the country. Uh, after four years of armed conflicts that accompanied the disintegration of uh, Yugoslavia, the horror of the war gained wider international attention when the 16th century uh, Stari Most or Old Most old bridge in Mostar was destroyed by the Croatian army in, in November 1993. This happened as shocking pictures of Bosnian Croat, uh, Croat uh, concentration camps not far from Mostar were spread uh, around the world and reached the international media. Thus the destruction of the Stari Most bec became emblematic of the war in Bosnia-Herzegovina, a war which aimed at elim eliminate the other not only by mass killings and notorious practice of ethnic cleansing, but also by eliminating symbols of unwanted groups. The, uh, cultural heritage became a part of the warfare. A group of prominent Swedish uh, heritage experts reached, um, reacted against how destruction of cultural heritage was being used to humiliate the people to whom, uh, uh, to whom belonged uh, and the uh, symbols to whom it belonged and established a non-governmental organization called Cultural Heritage Without Borders, CHWB, in 1995, uh, after the Dayton Peace Agreement was enforced in the country. CHWB's objectives were to conserve war-damaged monuments, as well as to strengthen state institutions concerned with pr the protection of cultural heritage. It received financing from CEDA, the Swedish International Cooperation and, um, and Development Aid. I came to Bosnia-Herzegovina in year 2000, five years after the war had ended, as a leader, project leader of, uh, uh, for CHWB. The country was still uh, badly damaged. No institutions uh, were working as they had before the war. The division of the country into two entities had left heritage protection authorities in disarray. As an international organization, we had to justify our work by following international conventions and uh, conservation principles, which gave um, an underlying structure to our work. At the same time, we had to operate with a prevailing post-war situation, working around the lack of materials and expertise and the difficulties in finding historical proofs and evidence. We also had to take into account the issue of the intentional destruction of the uh, monuments. As religious buildings had been the main goal for elimination of the symbolic buildings of the others, we were often asked uh, to reconstruct ones that had been entirely uh, destroyed. But such complete uh, reconstructions are not supported by the international conventions and principles. Neither did Sira, uh, 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 neither, neither was Sira uh, willing to support these religious projects. And as it received finance from Sida, cultural heritage without borders had to follow Swedish policies uh, for development aid. We could not generally support private persons or companies, and if possible, our projects had to support other Sida programs in Bosnia and Herzegovina. One such was the largest project in CEDA's history, besides the Bai Bang in Vietnam, and this is in the Integrated Area Program, IAP, a returnee program supporting more than 50,000 families with the reconstruction of their homes to enable them to move back to the towns and villages from which they had been expelled during the war. This was a humanitarian project, but CHWB was, uh, was able to integrate heritage restoration within its framework for the returnees of this part, uh, for the historic parts of Yaitse. Since the program, the, uh, the humanitarian program, did not consider any local context, uh, they only focused on um, reconstructions uh, to, a, uh, to as low price as possible. Yaitse is one of the best preserved medieval towns in Bosnia. 
still within its medieval walls using the same entrance and exit gates uh, as over the last 600 years. The historic buildings form the unity on the slope under a steep hill crowned by a medieval fort. The dramatic natural location of the fortress uh, topped hill with its slopes dotted with the typical steeply roofed Yaitse houses and a spectacular waterfall made the town one of ex Yugoslavia's main tourist attractions. The historic uh, city on the hill was traditionally a Muslim neighborhood and almost all the houses were badly damaged or destroyed during the 1992-95 war. It soon became clear that the humanitarian aid program was helping people to reconstruct that was helping people to reconstruct their houses was actually, in this historic context, continuing the destruction of the Muslim domestic architectural heritage, which had been a target in the war. Thus, CHWB began to collaborate with an NGO called Crossroads, working with the Ritoni program to restore five historic uh, Yaitse houses, along with two small mosques and a gatehouse to the fortress. The domestic uh, architecture uh, was Yaitse's most important feature and had even influenced uh, the form of the public buildings. We considered uh, the meaning and identity of the place. We had to consider the meaning and the identity of the place. How restored public buildings will contribute to the dignity of the people that identify themselves with this particular building and for whom it's an important symbol. It's also an evidence of belonging and a historic presence in its locality. Bringing back symbolic public and religious buildings gave a security uh, to returnees who had been brutally expel expelled which and which enabled them to dare to move back. In many places it, it took many years before the situation was stable enough for the returnees to return. Besides restoring people's identity, restoring monuments in Bosnia and Herzegovina is also about restoring historic memory. It's not always unquestioned, since cultural heritage has been a significant part of the war and is still a very, very political issue. When CHWB's presence in Bosnia and Herzegovina was well established after years of active work and recognized by local communities and state alike. CHUWB advanced the argument that restoring a historic monument would promote reconciliation between the formerly warring parties. Unfortunately, during my work in Bosnia and Herzegovina, I, s uh, I have seen little evidence of th this wishful thinking. Conflicts over cultural heritage continue in this small country in the course of forming a new na nation and its symbols, despite the urgent need for collaboration. In Europe, the built heritage has been used as symbols for nation of national identity for the past 200 years. This process is now taking place in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but on a local level where every party still hopes to win. From an outsider's perspective, I'm still waiting for signs of collaboration for a uh, common future. Signs of this are rare, but examples can be found in institutions like Zemalski Musei, the National Museum of, Sara, uh, of Bosnia and Herzegovina in Sarajevo, where the multi-ethnic staff struggle to work in difficult conditions, despite the lack of financial support from the central government, which is reluctant to recognize it as a state institution. And the museum has recently been forced to close its doors to the public due to this lack of support. Thank you.